So you're thinking of moving to Columbus, Ohio, but you want to know the good, the bad, the ups and the downs, and the pros and the cons of living in Columbus, Ohio? Well, stay tuned. I got you covered. In today's video, we are going over the real pros and cons of living in Columbus, Ohio. You will not want to miss it. Stay tuned until the end. All right, everyone, let's get straight into the video and let's start off with the pros. Pro number one is the affordability. Columbus, Ohio is one of the more affordable metropolitan areas throughout the United States. It is below the national average, which is awesome news. And you're moving here looking for a more budget friendly place to live. Columbus, Ohio does have some expensive areas, but overall, the city is very affordable. When it comes to housing, you're going to get way more bang for your buck than if you lived in, let's say, a Denver, Colorado, or you lived in a Los Angeles, California. Your money's going to go a lot further. In addition to that, everyday living expenses, such as transportation, gas, groceries, cell phone bills, home bills, utilities, all of that is going to be much cheaper than if you lived in a bigger metropolitan area, which is the awesome part about moving here because nobody wants to relocate or move to an area and pay more money to do so. So if you're looking for an awesome place to live that is also affordable, I couldn't recommend Columbus, Ohio enough. In addition to Columbus, Ohio, we also have some pretty cool places to live that are surrounding areas that are also really affordable. So if you don't love living in a big city, do not worry, Central Ohio has some really affordable places to live where you can be a little bit further out from the city as well. I do want to mention, I have a free relocation guide in the description. So if you plan on moving to Columbus, Ohio, it will walk you from steps A through Z on how to relocate to Ohio and some of the best places to live in Ohio. So definitely check that out in the description. With that being said, the next pro we're gonna talk about is the economic opportunities. Whether you're coming here working for a big company, they have you relocating, you're looking to start your small business, you're coming here for school and you plan on staying after, Columbus, Ohio is a fantastic opportunity to make money and grow with whatever career path you choose. Whether you wanna work for a major corporation, you wanna start your own business, or you wanna work for somebody else, do not worry, Columbus, Ohio has something for everyone. The economic opportunities are endless. Companies are always coming to the area looking for high-end talent and they are offering high-paying jobs. So if you're looking to start a career, Columbus, Ohio is the perfect place for you. The next pro we're going to talk about is the cultural scene. Columbus has a ton of festivals, concerts, sporting events, restaurants, and whatever else you can think of. The only thing we don't have is beaches and mountains. But besides that, Columbus, Ohio provides plenty to do, especially if you love sports and you love amazing food. We have a very underrated food scene here in Columbus, Ohio. My favorite restaurants are Town Hall, if you are downtown Columbus. Favorite bakery is Pistachia Vera, German Village. Love Kitchen Social in Dublin or Polaris. And my favorite coffee shop, is stops in Grandview. So there's something for everyone. If you love food, you definitely have to come to Columbus, Ohio. And if you love sports, Columbus, Ohio is the perfect place for you to live. Some of my favorite festivals are the Dublin Irish Fest, the Creekside Festival, the Jazz and Blues Fest, and I also love the Ohio State Fair. So there's always something going on, especially when it's warm out. In the winter, there's a little bit less to do, but in the summer, that's when Columbus, Ohio really thrives and there's something to do for everyone. And even in the winter, looking for a more family-friendly place to go, check out Kosai. It's an awesome place to go, especially if you have kids, to help them have fun and learn a little bit at the same time. The next pro that I want to touch base on is the green spaces. This is an awesome feature of living in Columbus, Ohio, is that we have a ton of green spaces and a ton of parks. Some of my favorite parks are the Scioto Mile Downtown. It's a 26 mile walking and biking trail. It's an awesome place to just go out on a nice sunny day and enjoy yourself. In addition to that, I love Schiller Park in the German Village. It's a great place to take your dogs if they like to go outside and run around. And the Franklin Park Conservatory inside is really cool. There's a ton of cool things to look at, such as snakes, plants, and nature in general. In addition to that, if you plan on getting married, you have to check out the Franklin Park Conservatory. It brings nature inside, and it's an awesome place to get married. Next on the list, 
education. So if you're coming to Columbus, Ohio, especially if you have a family, you're probably wondering, how's the education? Well, I'm here to tell you, it's awesome. Columbus, Ohio has some of the top college universities throughout the entire country. Obviously, Ohio State University being at the top of everyone's mind when it comes to Ohio. In addition to that, we have Columbus State University, which is an awesome community college, which you can do your first two years there and all your transfer credits transfer to Ohio State, which is awesome. You save a ton of money while still getting a great education. In addition to that, Otterbein University, which is a liberal arts school and Capital University, which is one of the top law programs and the has one of the top law programs throughout the entire country. Capital University is located in Bexley, Ohio. And the good thing about all these universities is that they're centrally located. In addition to that, Ohio, specifically Central Ohio, has some of the best high schools throughout the nation. Olentangy, Dublin, and Upper Arlington school districts are also ranked as the top school districts in all of Ohio, not just Central Ohio. So this is great news. If you're looking for an amazing education, you definitely can find that here in Columbus, Ohio. In addition to that, there is an array of private schools if you're looking to put your kids in private schools as well. So there's amazing education throughout the entire region of Central Ohio. Next, let's talk about the diverse and family-friendly neighborhoods. Columbus, Ohio has a wide array of neighborhoods, including urban living and suburban living. If you're looking for a fantastic suburb, you will have no issue finding a home that offers the suburban feel that's within a good school district. And if you're single moving to the area or you don't have kids, maybe urban living is for you. So downtown Columbus and the short north is definitely where you're want to, going to want to look to live. They have some awesome high rise condos and some awesome condos downtown that are conveniently located to all the entertainment and everything that you would need in a downtown area. The next pro I wanna speak on is the sports town. Columbus, Ohio is a, an amazing sports town. We have the Ohio State football, the Columbus crew, the Columbus Blue Jackets, the Columbus Clippers. We have amazing high school football. We have amazing sports here in Columbus, Ohio, and we have crazy sports fans. So if you come to Ohio and you love sports and your kids play sports as well, Columbus, Ohio is a great place for you. There are a lot of athletes that play at the next level college and pros from ohio so it's definitely a sports rich town and i highly encourage you coming to the area and exploring that for yourself the last pro that i want to speak on is the diverse job market this is a huge one because if you're watching this video you want to know are there great opportunities here in columbus ohio and the answer is yes there are a ton of high paying jobs. Companies like Intel coming to the area are going to offer an average salary of over $100,000 to their employees. With that being said, there are a ton of construction jobs, a ton of tech jobs, a ton of healthcare jobs, a ton of corporate jobs, a ton of opportunities to start your own restaurant, your own business. So there are a ton of job opportunities and people that are looking for a top end talent to come to the area. So if you're looking to move to Ohio, check out all of the cool startups as well in the area and there will be a job for you that fits your needs, I guarantee it. Con number one, the traffic congestion. This is the one that irks me the most because I hate traffic. If you leave during rush hour in the morning, you are likely going to be sitting in traffic for at least 30 minutes to an hour. Now, if you're coming from an area like California where you may be sitting in traffic for hours at a time, this may not be an issue, but it is for me and many others. So if you do plan on going to work and you leave during rush hour or come home during rush hour traffic, just plan on commuting a little bit earlier because there is a lot of traffic due to all the construction and development going on in Columbus, Ohio and the surrounding areas. I just wanna give you a heads up. If you work at 8 a.m., do not leave at 7.50 a.m. You will be late. Leave an hour early, give yourself a little time so you can get to work early or wherever you need to be and not feel rushed. Next, let's talk about the lack of public transportation. Now this one is definitely a headache, especially if you don't have a car. 
Columbus, Ohio does have the CODA system, which is the Central Ohio Transit Authority. It's a busing system, but oftentimes people complain about the long commute times. So if you're looking to use the CODA system and the public transportation that we do offer, just be prepared bus times and bus routes do take a while sometimes over an hour i highly recommend you do take an uber if you're going to be downtown and you don't have a car you'll probably get to places a lot quicker with that being said columbus ohio we don't have a subway system i know they are looking for ways to improve the public transportation or at least make the bus routes quicker for people that do have to take the bus but right now public transportation can be a major headache and put delays in your workday next on the list we have to talk about the air quality now the air quality i don't want to make it sound like it's the worst thing on earth but in the summertime the air quality here in columbus ohio is not the greatest due to the high humidity and hot weather we do have high ozone levels so the air can cause some congestion can cause people to breathe a little bit heavy but overall i have not personally experienced this we do have a ton of factories here in columbus ohio so sometimes you're going to breathe in some of those chemicals that do come out of these factories but overall i have not experienced any issues but something that i do want to bring to your attention especially if you have asthma or breathing issues when you move to columbus ohio to just be prepared for to piggyback off of the air quality we have to talk about the harsh winters columbus ohio does have harsh winters we don't get a ton of snow it does snow here but the winters get really really cold and the worst thing about winters here in Columbus, Ohio is the black ice and freezing rain, especially if you drive a lot. Just be prepared to drive slower when temperatures are freezing and it is raining because that causes a lot of accidents here in Columbus, Ohio. You do see a lot of accidents here in the winter due to people driving the same speed as they would as if there was no freezing ice or snow on the road. So just be cautious that winters do get really cold here. You will need winter clothes and you will need to be prepared the second to last pro i want to touch on is the bad drivers columbus ohio has some of the worst drivers from my experience people do text and drive here it's unfortunate but you see a lot of that out here on the roads so just be careful do not text and drive pay attention for construction there's a ton of that pay attention for potholes too because a lot of people will try to avoid those and swerve without looking but drivers here in Columbus, Ohio, from my experience, are historically bad and they do not care. They are also rude, so they will cut you off and look at you and blame you. So just be prepared for the bad drivers here in Columbus, Ohio. Last but not least, let's talk about the final con, and that is political polarization. Being election year, I wanted to touch base on this because Columbus, Ohio, in my opinion, is split right down the middle when it comes to Democrats and Republicans, in my experience. That may not be exactly right, but here in Columbus, Ohio, if you are politically opinionated, you may not agree with a lot of the population. That's just how it is. I'm guessing that's how it is in most parts of the country. But here in Columbus, Ohio, we have a diverse group of people that live here. So just be prepared that people do have strong political opinions here in Columbus, Ohio and the surrounding areas. So you may not agree with what everybody thinks. They may not agree with what you think. But most of the times I find that it's pretty peaceful here in Columbus, Ohio, and it doesn't get out of control, which is great. Now that you know the pros and cons of living in Columbus, Ohio and everything else in between, I hope you can make an informed decision on if or not or when the right time would be for you to make the move. I'm going to leave my free relocation guide to moving to Columbus, Ohio in the description. It'll walk you A through Z how to relocate here, the best areas to live and what to do. With that being said, I'm a licensed realtor as well. As much as I love making these videos, I would love to help you buy your next home here in Columbus, Ohio. My information will be in the description. Thank you guys.